What is up, everyone? StonePost34 here, bringing you a little bit more of uh, growing up with StonePost. Uh, I've got a lot of great feedback from you guys on, on some of these stories, and so I think we're going to continue that until you guys get tired of it. So um, if you guys are getting tired of it, let me know. But uh, real quick, hey, this is a, a game on Havana. Sorry for the uh, duplicate. It's not a... I haven't put this gameplay up specifically, but I just put up a Havana Team Deathmatch. So sorry about that with the PSN network down. I'm just uh, just going off old games that I have on my system. But one thing I wanted to tell you about the gameplay, I did, you'll see at the end, uh, Bullock, who we play with quite a bit, goes 76 and 1. And that gameplay is up on my channel, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. It's part of my Saturday matinee where I feature friends uh, gameplay on my channel. So pretty cool video. Uh, please check that out. So uh, anyway, a couple little housekeeping keeping items. Um, I get a lot of messages uh, because of the PSN network down. I just, you know, people are asking me, can I add you when it comes back up as a friend? And I would say absolutely add me. Uh, I'd like to play with you guys and, and talk to you in person on the PSN once that gets up. And real quick, I think that's looking like after the weekend. It's going to be a while. They're actually moving the infrastructure to a different site, and they're rebuilding the whole system. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So just to let you know, go ahead and send me an invite. My PSN is the same as my channel. It's StonePost34. So go ahead and send that invite. And uh, one last thing. Uh, got some good response from people. I think I have three people making intros for me. And what I want to do with that, I'll probably just post them all and let you guys decide. Let you guys be in the driver's seat and see which one you guys like the best. So anyway, just to let you know that. So hey, back to uh, growing up with StonePost34. So <laughs> here's what, here's, this is a story of when I was uh, about 10 or 11. And we lived in Wellington, Kansas. Wellington, Kansas, not Wellington, New Zealand. It's the capital of New Zealand. Wellington, Kansas is uh, just south of Wichita. And you'll figure out through these stories, we moved quite a bit. We moved nine times with my parents growing up, and I've moved 11 times growing up to different cities. So uh, uh, there's not just one city I lived in for a period of time. We averaged about two years in each spot. Um, so anyway, this story is about my brother and I blowing through our savings account. And here's how it started. So it was a summer uh, in Wellington. Uh, they were always hot summers, and we'd always go down to the, uh, it's called a town and country. It's like a quick shop, uh, uh, just a gas station where you could get a soda and, and slushies. So we'd always go down there and get slushies. And they had this, <laughs> this is before you had console video games at home, and so to play video games, which obviously I like to play video games, uh, you'd had to, had to go to these little arcades inside these town and country. So we would go to the town and country on a daily basis, and we'd just tell my mom, well, we're going down there to uh, get a slushie. Well, my brother starts showing up with rolls of quarters, and we start playing Akari Warriors which is still an awesome game. I wish I could get it, get a hold of it somehow. But Akari Warriors is a, uh, a shooter game, uh, not first-person shooter, but it's a two-player, uh, and you go through multiple levels. Needless to say, we wound up completing the game. <laughs> but So he starts showing up with rolls of quarters. And I, and I didn't ask at first. I was just kind of like, oh, well, he had some quarters in his pocket. Well, this goes on for about a week, <clears throat> and we go through these quarters pretty quick. You know, we could spend about two, two bucks and you know, half hour, uh, and it was just a quarter to play the game. So finally, after about a week of this, I asked him, I said, where are you getting these quarters? And he said, well, I can't tell you. So finally, after about three weeks of this, he tells me. What he's doing, and I end up doing myself, is going, he found out where our savings accounts were, and my grandparents would give us about 50 bucks for our birthday. We weren't rich, you know, that was a big deal for us. 50 bucks, uh, for each birthday so at that point you know there was a you know about 500 bucks in mine and a little bit more in his uh, account and anytime we got spare change and we'd, we'd put it in our savings account well what he was doing was taking down his little bank book and withdrawing ten dollars at a time out of his account well we did this for the entire summer <laughs> and um, I think by the time we got caught I had only about $200 in my account, and he had even less. He started with more in his account. And I remember walking into the town and country, and the gal asked us, yeah, where are you guys getting all this money? And we just said, well, we saved it, which we kind of did, but not really. You know, that money was set aside for a car when we uh, got old enough to drive. So we wound up blowing through all that, and I'll never forget how upset my parents were when they actually caught wind of it. And it was actually a bank statement came through the mail. Uh, we intercepted them 
intercepted the uh, bank sta statements for a few months, but I got to tell you guys, that stuff catches up with you. It's, it sounded like a good idea. It was fun while it lasted, but um, there was definitely uh, a price to pay, and we paid it with my parents. We wound up getting grounded for the rest of the summer, and um, we weren't allowed access to our banking accounts for quite a while, so our savings accounts, I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, just a word to the wise, don't do that. Um, you know, go earn money, save half of it, and then, you know, blow half of it if you're that young. That's kind of what I always did. But uh, anyway, a couple, uh, uh, I, I have a few other little stories uh, about uh, my grandparents. And, you know, both my grandparents lived in Wellington uh, basically all their lives. And uh, so we'd go there uh, quite a bit, and then we moved there. Um, so it was kind of, it was home base for us. We moved a lot. So my grandpa taught me how to play golf and I'm a, I love to play golf now, but I got to tell you, I was a better golfer when I was about 10 or 11 than I am now. I don't know why. I think my, uh, my mind gets in the way now, but, um, and, you know, I won a few tournaments and, uh, it placed in a few tournaments and, uh, but he taught me how to play golf. So he took me out to the Wellington country club. This was probably my first time out with him. I had taken a few lessons. So I go out with him, and uh, he's teaching me the etiquette. You know, it is a gentleman's game, teaching me uh, what to do and what not to do. So this is just a quick, funny little story um, of us going out and golfing. I remember we teed off on the first hole, and um, I had hit a ball. Basically, it was kind of behind a tree, and it was down in a, in a, a rough spot where I wasn't able to get a good lie. And, it, you know, now that's called playing it down or playing it where it lies. And he told me, he said, Greg, that's the number one rule. When you play golf, you play it where it lies. And, I, you know, I couldn't deal with that. So I had a little punch shot. I punched it out towards the fairway, nothing spectacular. And uh, so we move on. Well, we get up to the next hole. And... Uh, <laughs> My grandpa hits a worm burner and uh, about, you know, snake rape or whatever you guys want to call them. And uh, it doesn't go very far. And it's also a bad lie. Not behind a tree, but also it, this course wasn't the nicest course. It was the country club, but that was the only golf course we had. And it uh, got in a kind of a burnout divot spot, and uh, it was a bad lie. Well, I'm walking up ahead of him, and I turn back around, and guess what he does? <laughs> He moves it. He moves it out of the divot. I'll never forget. Anyway, that, that <laughs> was pretty funny. So anyway, uh, that's just a quick story about my grandpa. That's a different grandpa than I talked about in the other ones but because they both live there in town. And that was really cool having them both there. And uh, anyway, guys. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it if you have any ideas. Also, like I said before, I want to do some... Uh, Q and A with you guys. So send me questions if you have it. You know whether it's girlfriend problems, uh, work problems, uh, family problems. Try to give you some advice. So anyway, uh, I guess my advice for today is uh, don't blow through your savings account because it will catch up with you. So um, I'll leave a link for this gameplay, the Bullocks, and so you can see the other side of this. And um, this team, if you were, <laughs> if you were, if you're a subscriber, you're watching this, and you were on this team, I'm sorry because we uh, kind of took advantage of you guys fully. So. <laughs> Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this is StonePost34. More videos to come. Uh, take care. Subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or send me a message. Take care.